I feel invisible. I feel invisible. I feel invisible. These are the words of the mass murderer who recently killed several people in Santa Barbara. He said this and many other things in a series of videos he uploaded to his YouTube channel. Look, mass killings like this are inherently irrational. And by all reports, the murderer in this situation was a troubled, mentally ill young man. His thinking wasn't rational and can't be rationalized. But we still ask why. Even when violence is senseless, we seek to make some sense out of it. And I keep going back to this line. I feel invisible. Why would a person who is lonely, depressed, and feeling invisible perceive that committing an act of violence would bring him visibility? would bring him the notoriety he craved. Honestly, because it would, and it did. We live in the age of the celebrity mass murderer. We've always sensationalized mass murder. We have always held some sort of sick cultural fascination with it. But with the increasingly ubiquitous social media, our obsession with the minds and motives of killers has escalated. In our quest to understand and somehow make sense of the people who do these things, we offer them a very sick form of celebrity. Adam Lanza, James Holmes, Jared Lautner, Eric Harris, Dylan Klebold. These are just the names of a few of our celebrity mass murderers. You know them, I know them, the world knows them. Hell, we make documentaries about them. We know them in ways we never would have if they hadn't committed these heinous acts. So while the rest of the media will probably spend countless hours debating gun laws, despite the fact that the Santa Barbara murderer did as much damage with a knife and his car as he did with a gun. What we should really be asking is, how do we change this conversation? How do we make sure that the next mentally ill person who feels invisible doesn't view violence as his means to visibility? <laughs>